Welcome back or welcome to my channel. So today I'm back with another hair review on this perfect fall color unit that I'm wearing right now. This video is sponsored by Icy Hair. They were kind enough to send me over this lovely fall unit to try out for you guys. So let's get right into it. But before we do that, you better have hit that subscribe button already. And I'm not gonna say it again. I actually am in the outro, but anyway, let's just jump right into the video. We're gonna start with the unboxing as always. So inside your box, you have your wig. This is the Icy Hair box and they have their social medias and website inside the lid. Right on top is your wig in this clear Ziploc bag. This this is the Brazilian straight hair and 150% density. And this is a 13 by four frontal in 24 inches. It also comes with an elastic band. Need those to melt that lace, girl, got to have it. They sent some mink lashes, the two nude wig caps as always. And then they have a little pamphlet with care instructions and all that in there. So yeah, that's everything that comes inside the box. And then let me show y'all the wig straight out the box. So this is what it looks like straight out the box. It's inside of a hair net and it has stuffing on the inside. And then this is the construction. Like I said, it's a 13 by four lace frontal. It has three combs in the front, a comb in the back and an adjustable strap. And then this is what it looks like straight out the package. And then I also plucked this unit. So I'm gonna show y'all, I took some videos of before. So this is what it looked like before I plucked it. I bleached the knots too, but I don't think it did anything cause it looked the exact same. So I don't know what happened there, but anyway, yeah. So that's what it looked like before. And then this is what it looked like after I finished plucking. I guess the knots didn't really need to be bleached. I don't know, I guess I just, wanted to see if it would change anything or make a difference. I really don't think it did anything at all. It looked the exact same. So yeah, that's all I did to the unit. And of course I washed it out, shampoo, conditioner before I installed it. So that's what we're about to get into next, the install portion of the video. In the install portion, I curled this wig. I did barrel curls, but obviously these aren't barrel curls. I didn't feel like doing all that today. So um, I did these little bumps throughout, you know, real cute layers. I call myself cutting layers also in the install portion, but it wasn't giving like it's giving now and I ended up cutting it the other day. So if y'all want a video on how I did this or how I achieved this kind of look, then let me know, I'll do that. But yeah, the layers are giving today, like get into it. Yeah, but all the information on the wig will be in the description box, of course, as well as the link to the wig if you want to purchase it yourself. And I'll also put the information right here on the side of the screen so that y'all know what it looks like. But yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right into the install portion. Love and happiness make you do wrong. Hey. Get on my dick. 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 Get
Suicide, suicide, those are my fans.
All right, so I just cut some layers in it and I'm gonna just put some barrel curls in it. I'm not gonna record it because I don't feel like doing that. And it takes a while for me to curl sometimes. So, um, but plus I already, um, I've already shown me curling my hair before and the video I did with Superb Wigs with that blonde wig, I curled that one like barrel curls. So, you know, I'm just not gonna record it. I'm gonna just do it. And then I'll come back when it's all curled. Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all, so that was the install portion of the video. And now I'm going to give y'all my thoughts on this unit. Look at her. I mean, look at it. She's bomb. You know, aside from me cutting and styling and installing it, of course. But anyway, I really like this unit. It's the perfect fall color. It's not like a super bright ginger, you know, the ginger wigs, the ginger hair color is real trendy during the fall season, especially these past couple years or so. But I know a lot of people aren't big fans of the super bright ginger wigs. So this would be a good unit if you don't like the super bright ones. This is not a bright ginger. It's very like calm down type of vibe. Like, you know what I'm saying? Which I really like. I did this color actually exactly two years ago today which is crazy it wasn't even playing like that but the last time i had this hair color was two years ago but i had watercolored the hair myself i got the wig off amazon i'll link that video of me coloring it and the install of how i met my last girl first of all that video i don't know why y'all hyped me up like that on that video and that video did as well as it did because when i look at it now girl that install was not melted at least not how it looks right now. But if y'all wanna update it, how to make your last video, let me know. But yeah, y'all wrong for that. Make me feel like I really did that. Cause I'm looking at the video like, girl, the lace is right there. But yeah, that was the last time I had this color, but I watercolored it myself and it was a lot brighter than this. So I really like this like more calm down look is very like, you know, it's giving what it's supposed to. But yeah, so let's start with the install. The install went by really well. The lace, I got to melt perfectly into my skin. I got it to match well. Um, The only issue I have with the install portion it's really not big head friendly. It's like very, very borderline big head friendly. Like I had to tug to get it where it is and it's still like a little bit of tension on my head. Like I can feel it cause the wig is a little small. Yeah, it's borderline big head friendly. I personally wouldn't recommend it if you have a big head because like I said, you are gonna have some tension and that's not what you want. You don't want that anyway. You should never have tension with your wig installs. But you know, I try to make it work. I try to make my wigs fit if they don't fit. But if they really don't fit, like I, I will not force it. Like. I I've had wigs before from companies that I was like, look, this is not like, I couldn't even get it past my hairline. That's how small it was. So there was no way I could be able to get it past the ball cap. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, look, this don't fit. Like I'll send it back if you want me to. This is way too small for me. Like I can't even install it. So I can't even promote this for y'all. Like I can't, cause I can't get it on. Like what am I gonna do with that? You know? Yeah, that was, I think the only issue with this unit. No, it was one more, but I'll get to that in a minute. Yeah, it's a little snug for us big headed girlies. So other than that, the install went by pretty good. So y'all see that? I'm getting better at these wigs, y'all. Even though I've been installing wigs for like a couple of years now, I'm really just now getting good at it for real. Like, and that's crazy because I really thought I was good at it like two years ago. But girl, no man, I've gotten a lot better at plucking. I'm just now mastering plucking and bleaching knots and also my install. So if y'all want more videos about that, bleaching knots, plucking, installs, like a detailed video of me installing it because I know I only show y'all the sped up version of me installing it. Let me know. Or like styling videos, all that. Let me know. But yeah, I really like this color um the density i really like the density on this wig and i was really surprised about that because y'all know i be having problems with these companies be sending these too thin wigs i don't know what's up with that these companies wigs don't be thick enough like what's going on like what y'all got going on i don't understand that but i actually really like the density on this wig it's not too thin it's literally like the perfect density so that was a plus i also like the length on it it was 24 inches and it was definitely giving 24 obviously i cut some of it off because i was cutting layers but it was definitely longer than this y'all saw that in the install though so the length was giving what it was supposed to give. Let's see what else. Shedding, it really doesn't shed that much. It sheds like an average amount for a wig, so shedding not an issue. I will say, I feel like it tangles a lot for it to be a straight unit, like you know what I'm saying? So I feel like tangling is a little bit of an issue because it be tangling up, like, and I ain't even did nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even, I noticed that when I washed it too, when I plucked it and bleached the knots and I had to wash the hair, I noticed like how it kind of seemed like it was matting up or something when I was washing it. I don't know what was happening, but yeah, it does tangle a bit for some reason. I don't know what's up with that. Especially to be a straight unit, I feel like it tangles more than the average straight unit. So yeah, I think that's everything I have to say about this. Those are my only two issues with this wig, the size and the tangling. Other than that, 
love it. So I'm gonna give it a eight out of 10. Obviously I knocked off a point for the tangling and the sizing. So yeah, I'm gonna give this wig an eight out of 10 overall. I really like this unit. I really recommend it, especially if you, your head is smaller than mine, then definitely. But I have a big head. I always get large wig cap sizes if they offer it. Cause you know, some wig companies don't offer for you to pick your size. Like they just have a average size wig. Like that's what they sell. Yeah, if they let you pick your size, I always get a large. I have to get a large or it usually don't fit. So um, yeah, I really don't know what to tell you about that because I do have a big head and I feel like if it had been any smaller than what it is, I wouldn't have been able to install it. Like I said, it's borderline, like right on the line, big head friendly because it's on as you can see, but I had to tug it to get it there. And if it had been any smaller, I wouldn't have been able to. So yeah, those are my thoughts on this wig. That's the T and I think that's all I got to say. So yeah, like I said, if y'all want to purchase this unit, the link will be in the description box below and you can use code beauty10 to get $10 off your purchase. And yeah, thank you again to IC Hair for sponsoring this video and sending me over this unit. I really like it. I'm feeling her. Are we feeling the layers? Are we feeling the side part? Y'all, I never do a side part. Did y'all notice it? I did a side part. I always wear a middle part. Are we feeling it? But yeah, that's all I got to say. So make sure you check out my website, whoshibeauty.com where I sell my lashes, my big blinks, which are my 25 millimeter lashes and my baby blinks, which are my shorter lashes for my natural girls. I'm having a lash sale right now. All lashes are 35% off. Yeah, also I was supposed to do my new big blinks at my new big blinks to the website. I'm gonna discontinue the ones that are currently on there and put my new ones, which are the fluffy series, my fluffy blinks, which are one of the pairs I'm wearing right now, one of the styles that will be released I'm wearing right now. I was supposed to do that back in September, release those, but um, I just had a lot of other stuff come up. I had a lot, school, you know, whole bunch going on. So I'm gonna try to get it done as soon as possible and get it up on the website because I really wanna put the little fluffy blinks up because y'all have been commenting on my lashes and they are a part of that series, my fluffy series that I have not released yet. So I need to hurry up and get them out so y'all can buy them. Y'all be seeing y'all like them so you can be able to purchase them. So yeah, make sure you check out my lashes. I also sell lip gloss, my lip candies that I make myself, all scented, all moisturizing, super moisturizing. You will not find no other lip gloss like it, I promise you. I always get that compliment on my lip glosses, how moisturizing they are. And they must be pretty good because every time I restock them and I released these in May, 2020. So going on two years, it's been over a year since I dropped these and every time I restock them, I am still selling out. Like I just sold out of um, the Coco Kisses a couple months ago, I restocked that. And then the other day I just sold out of Juicy Watermelon. Anyway, yeah, all my lip glosses I've been selling out of every time I restock. So what they tell you, you do with the information what you will. Yeah, make sure you check out my lip glosses, my lip candies, which are my tinted glosses. I have Juicy Watermelon, which is a red tint, Georgia Peach, which is a peachy tint, and Coco Kisses, which is a brown tint, which is what I'm wearing right now. They come in these cute little candy tubes, hence the name. And yeah, I also have regular clear gloss. If you want to shop those, you can shop my clear glosses. I have Strawberry Kiwi, which is a regular clear gloss, and then Dice Pineapples, which is a clear glitter gloss. I also sell bags, the Crystal Money bags. I have Quilted Mini bags. I have Spring Color Mini bags. I have Rhinestone Face Masks. You know, stay masked up, be safe, but you can also be cute with it. What a Rhinestone Face Mask. So shop my Rhinestone Face Mask. I also sell personalized that I make myself. You can shop any designs that I have on my website, or you can DM my business page on Instagram, Hushi Beauty, and we can discuss a custom order over there. I do accept custom orders. I also just put two new ones on the website, my tortoise shell nails, the totally tortoise shell print and the sweater weather nails. You know, it's got like the little sweater print design on it for the fall and winter. But yeah, I just put those up uh, a couple weeks ago. So go shop those. I also sell jewelry, necklaces, anklets. I sell handmade velvet do-rags. I sell sweat sets and I also sell lash tweezers right here. If you have trouble putting on your lashes, this is what you need right here. So after you get your lashes from me, get you a pair of lash tweezers on your way out. You have so much more stability. It's so much easier. The process goes by so much faster when you use lash tweezers to put on your lashes. I use it every time. So yeah, I think that's everything. So yeah, check out my website, whoshibeauty.com. Link in the description as well as my business page on Instagram and all my other personal social media platforms. But yeah, y'all, that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl channel, please. And thank you. And make sure your post notifications are on so you don't ever miss when I post because you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. So make sure your post notifications are on because that she and wig video is coming that y'all been looking for the human hair one. I just posted the one with the um, synthetic ones the other day, but y'all been wanting them human hair reviews. So I ordered me one and it's on the way. Y'all turn on your post notifications so y'all can get notified when I post that video. We're going to see what's up with she in because girl, then I had to spend my money on it. They better come correct. But yeah, make sure your post notifications are on and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.